no one in this city, let's make it broader, no one in the state of Illinois in this country is questioning Mayor Brandon Johnson's commitment to this mission. That no is, one is. Uh, Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson after being asked about what the city's going to do uh, for putting taxpayers on the hook to help with the migrant crisis in the city of Chicago. Welcome back, Bishop on Air, each and every weekday morning with you. And uh, yesterday, about 11 o'clock, uh, Governor J.B. Pritzker's office sent out a message uh, saying that uh, the state and Cook County are set to fund the, the migrant crisis with your tax dollars. So we'll pull this news release up from the governor's office and just kind of read through it here with you. It says, uh, following a joint planning exercise with state and county city leaders, state and county leaders commit to joint public funding. Uh, so this is interesting. This is the, the, the language that's used here, uh, right? And as far as uh, how they're they're characterizing this. Uh, so they say that uh, Governor J.B. Pritzker, Cook County President Tony Preckwinkle announced their commitment to a joint funding plan to ensure shelter, wraparound services and health care remain available for asylum seekers sent to Chicago from the Texas border. Following a long term planning exercise, state, county and city teams concluded that an additional estimated three hundred and twenty one million dollars is needed to maintain shelter and services this calendar year on top of previously committed funding. The governor and president of Cook County are pledging a combined investment of over $250 million to help close this gap. So $250 million, $321 million, what is that? About $70 million gap. So in November, the governor's news release says the state of Illinois committed an additional $160 million to asylum seekers in response to invest in three critical areas. Welcome shelter and independence the commitment was in addition to 478 million dollars the state has spent since the start of the response as part of the joint funding uh and the state's pledging an additional 182 million which will be part of the governor's upcoming fiscal year 2025 budget proposal so bottom line here is the governor is going to uh next week talk about an additional uh, $182 million in the state budget for the migrant response. It uh, goes on to say that um, you've got uh, the governor's quote here uh, with uh, thousands of asylum seekers continuing to come to Chicago in uh, desperate need of supports and with Congress continuing to refuse to act. And it's clear the state, county, and city will have to do more to keep people safe, the governor said. Uh, so... Uh, obviously, the governor is is lining out that uh, this is a priority for his administration. He says, I'm thankful to President Preckwinkle for working with us to keep us close to the budget gap and maintain critical services. Uh, and I'm just now seeing, uh, <laughs> apparently, my encoder has dropped again. Uh, the internet is finicky in this part of my uh, neighborhood for whatever reason, so I appreciate everybody who does jump back into the live stream, but that's why we record these things locally. Uh, but anyways, back to the uh, governor's news release. It says Cook County's already committed more than $100 million in the current fiscal 24 budget for the new arrivals and related costs, primarily for health care, and the presidents will work with Cook County commissioners to commit $70 million additional dollars. And again, this is just the, the county and the the state. So the city had yet to be part of this joint announcement. And that was a big line of questioning of uh, Mayor Brandon Johnson yesterday. Uh, so they've got, uh, again, an additional uh, 180 some odd million dollars, 182 million dollars that uh, Governor J.B. Pritzker is expected to announce in his budget address next year. Uh, well, uh, next week he's announcing that the budget year begins uh, July 1st. Uh, so the budget address for the budget that begins July 1st, that's going to be Wednesday, and we'll cover that. But we know now that the governor is going to ask for an additional $182 million in state funds. And that's all part of this $250 million that the county and city have announced. Uh, so Mayor Brandon Johnson asked about this yesterday at a news conference. A uh, variety of different questions here that the mayor's asked. Let's go ahead and hear what he had to say in response to where's the $70 million that the city apparently is going to be uh, putting taxpayers on the hook for. And what's needed? Does the city have plans to offer that $70 million? If so, how? what would that look like? Yeah. So as you know, I've made a very strong commitment. Well, maybe you don't know. I shouldn't assume that. I've made an incredible commitment 
to this mission. From the first major vote that I oversaw as mayor of the city of Chicago, $51 million. That was a punt from the previous city council. And then we put another $150 million into the budget for this fiscal year, something that the previous city council did not do. They didn't budget for, for the last year. And then we went back again for a third time to replace government operations funds with $95 million. On top of that, you know, we've had 35,000 plus people come to the city of Chicago seeking asylum, of which we had at one point the highest 15,000 people that the city of Chicago was solely responsible for sheltering. So again, uh, Mayor Johnson talking about uh, his commitment to this mission, uh, and the mission obviously being uh, using tax dollars to help uh, so-called asylum seekers get access to housing, food, medical care, education, wraparound services, uh, which could include helping them find immigration attorneys to assist in their asylum uh, petition. And again, these asylum petitions, you know, they're, they're essentially on probation uh, until they have a hearing to determine whether or not they are granted asylum. And some of the statistics show it's not a great success rate for people seeking asylum. Uh, so how all that's going to come out in the wash, uh, we shall see. But more from Brandon Johnson yesterday on the issue of where's the $70 million coming from? Why does it constantly seem that there's conflict between the city of Chicago and the state, which, you know, Governor Pritzker's a Democrat, Brandon Johnson's a Democrat. Why is there some, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, consternation between the two this is the second time that you and the governor's office seem to disagree on how things are going to play out to care for the situation this time specifically are you saying the governor's staff is lying when you when they say you committed to 70 million dollars it's very confusing to figure out why would they say after multiple meetings the city committed to 70 million dollars and now the city says no well I, actually i don't know where where the disagreement really exists here. The commitment to the mission is what we're all in agreement with. And what I've said repeatedly is that there's an entire operation that must be considered here. No one in this city, let's make it broader. No one in the state of Illinois in this country is questioning Mayor Brandon Johnson's commitment to this mission. No one is. 28 shelters, 5,700 children that we're educating, three times before the city council to get the resources that were needed to make sure that we are fulfilling this mission. Health screenings, collaborating with mayors around the, the, the region and the country, passing an ordinance that other states are now modeling so that we can bring some structure uh, to this operation. So I'm committed to this mission as I've been, and I'm grateful that we have partners at the state level and at the, at the county level who are also committed to this mission. And it's a mission of care um, as well as um, a mission that requires a real holistic response to, to this crisis. And I'm grateful that we have two leaders at the state and the county level that are committed to it as well. So but not really answering where's the $70 million going to come from. How does this play out? And as far as holding people accountable for uh, where these contracts go who's getting the money uh, is it inflated costs i mean we've seen stories about you know the the inflated cost of nursing contracts when it comes to the migrant situation uh we've we've heard about the uh growing costs of housing uh the the conditions of housing uh these temporary shelters and such so clearly uh, a lot more of your tax dollars here in the state of illinois are going to go to this issue whether or not there's actually going to be any federal response maybe some kind of bailout for cities uh however congress uh, you know ultimately plays out whatever piece of legislation advances uh, all of this uh, clearly is going to come to a head as it uh, continues to mount. So uh, we'll track that. Again, uh, the governor is going to give his uh, budget address on Wednesday. He's already looking at $180 plus billion plus that he's going to announce in addition to uh, tens of billions, uh, millions, I should say, millions, 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 not billions, millions, $180 plus million plus that the governor's going to announce as part of his budget for the migrant crisis. In addition to county funds, but $70 million uh, from the city, and where is that going to come from? The city's already got, you know, the, the among the highest taxpayer burden 
uh, of all major cities, let alone Illinois' major taxpayer burden for all the debt that there is. So how do you stack even more on top of this? And even with the, the state, there's a lot of other priorities, funding priorities. And if you're going to be throwing 180 plus million dollars more at the migrant crisis, well, what program are you going to cut to uh, to make up for that? Or are we just going to see a can kicked down the road until all of a sudden we need to say, oh, no, supplemental appropriation, but we need more money. Got to raise taxes somewhere. Right? So um, we'll watch that as it all comes together. It is Bishop on air. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, and I appreciate those jumping back in into the live stream after apparently the live stream dropped for a bit and then came back. Listen, I don't know what to do. I, I'm going to have to spend like five hours on the internet service providers helpline to figure that out. But uh, appreciate you guys and your patience with me here uh, as I broadcast from my home studio. All right, stay tuned. More coming up here with Bishop on air.